What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Red Fish Blue Tail. Check this out. Boom. Can you guys see those? In, see that in the sun? How badass are these hats? Just got them in a couple weeks ago. Haven't even had a video to do yet to be able to like show you guys them. Uh, this one just started off with a bang. Let me show you what just happened. Oh, I'm on. Oh, sh oh. Craziness. Uh, learned a few lessons on that one. And, uh, but we're out here on a flood tide, uh, just waiting for the water to come in. We're gonna try to get on it. Later, y'all. All right guys, right back here is the end of the creek. It's not flooding yet. There's a little bit of water in here, but I'm just gonna roll back here. I see some big wakes. And in the fall, I've cruised over that with very clear water and I've seen fish sitting in this pool, so. So I've got some, I've had some movement back here around the grass line. I've seen it two or three times now, which could be a redfish cruising the top. Just moving around this grass way back here. Oh, there's a big swirl back there. It may be worth like pointing up right here. That could have been, I got something here. Oh, you see what I'm saying? All that. Oh, it's a redfish. I can see him. Oh, I'm on. Oh, sh oh. That's why you check your knots. Shoot. Man, my drag is so tight. Oh my God. What in the world? Oh my God. It's like a foot deep right there and I saw the fish coming through I mean, I cast in front and you guys saw it. I hooked right up. I mean, I was that was the ultimate sight cast. I mean, I saw the fish swimming, cast on him, and he inhaled it. My drag. Ugh. All right, I've kind of had a moment to think about that. Uh, that was crazy. It came up, saw the swirl. Uh, I knew there's fish in this pool at times because what's happened is they've come up the creek to this pool and they just can't push into the flat yet. So I saw the fish coming, I recognized it was a redfish, cast in front, pulled it in front of him, he hammered it, and I mean, boom, immediately popped off. Come to find out my drag was set at basically 110%. Like, I don't ever have my drag set that far, which goes to show you two lessons learned here. Before you even cast your line, you should check your knot and you should also check your drag. I did neither of them, and I have zero fish on the boat right now. Hooked up once, zero fish on the boat. That's frustrating.
at this point i'm just going to let uh, the creek which is going this way and the wind also going that way just kind of push me by these flats and i'll just casually watch both sides and if i see something i'll pop off and then i'll come back to more towards my car this way uh i just got to cover some ground now I mean, it's peaceful out here. It's nice. The water just didn't come in as, as much as it was supposed to. Oh, gosh, right, right here. This is going to be tricky. This is right, right there. Fish is here. I need him to go. There he is. He's going that way. Gosh, you can see him right there. Oh, my fly was on his back. That's why you gotta pause, guys. Now, hopefully he'll go around this. Ooh, he may have seen me. He stopped. All right, guys, he's right off my rod at 10 feet. He kind of angled himself. His left eyeball would be facing me right now. He's right off my rod. Alright, he's kind of going away from me. Please tell me that's recording. Yes. Take what you need, buddy. Take what you need. Guys, this is my first redfish on the fly this season. I just want to at least get to the leader here. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. There we are. Oh man. One, two, only a three spotter. Let's get you cleaned up, buddy. Whew. Look at that. What a gorgeous fish. Ready? Oh, come on. Man, I got you, bud. I'll make sure you get out of here. There you go. You're moving now. I can see grass moving right here. He's right here. Okay. I'm gonna give it just a second. Uh, I'm gonna let him recuperate. I'm gonna get reset, and then I'll make sure that he gets uh, back to uh, the main creek. Uh, you can see my paddleboard right over there. Um, I'll see that he can get back to the main creek and then, uh, you know, I don't like to leave him out here. You know, I'm the one who kind of caused the physical, physical exertion. I want to make sure they can get back. Well, that's awesome, guys. There we go. I actually think you can see the sun's going down, guys. I actually may turn and just work the whole thing back. That way I don't get caught in the dark and I'm not paddling home late. Man, what a, there's another one. This whole little area just turned on. There was at least four fish in there. That was wild. It doesn't get much better than that right there. I got about 20 more minutes or so before I before I get to my car, but 
I mean, look at that scene. Very little wind, you can see everything. Just want more fish to pop up. All right, guys, uh, that's gonna be it. We're gonna get on out of here. I got about 15 minutes till I get to the car, but I think it's gonna get too dark to do a little outro for you. Uh, this is our first time posting in six months. I appreciate you guys following along or watching if you've been kind of sitting around. We've been extremely busy with work and I apologize with that, but uh, we are, uh, we're back to fishing for a couple months now and I hope to be putting out some videos. And uh, oh yeah, check out, uh, <sighs> check out me dropping my shades and the paddle in the water uh but check out these hats guys uh we'll have them for sale pretty soon later all right guys so i kept looking over my shoulder and seeing something over here and it just it, it's like just creating a lot of ruckus Let me, i'm just gonna take my rod and reel over there real quick i think it's a fish oh yeah <laughs> so way past him watch this guys oh <laughs> <laughs> hey, relax. That's a nice sized fish, y'all. Oh. There we are, guys. I have no idea if the sun is picking that up there, but there we are. Nice little chunk on the uh, Ice Strike and Z Man combo. All right, buddy. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see me or not, but um, when you're when you're coming back, when the sun's at your back and you're going away from it at night like this, always look behind you because you can always see what's happening. It creates a very, very, very good, uh, like a very, very good uh, visual for you. Whereas behind me, it's completely dark. So I just kind of kept looking this way. And I, I mean, my, my paddleboard's 100 yards up river. I, I saw it over my shoulder. Uh, glad I got it. <laughs> glad I kept looking.